Hello and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time but uni has gotten in the way of me making videos unfortunately. So I'm going to try and uh, work out a way that I can make videos and do well at uni but it's going to be tough because I'm also balancing a job. So you know it's not, it's not the best of circumstances but I'll see what I can do. Anyway I'm here with a video and it's a video about Star Wars The Clone Wars. I'm sure if you've read the title I'm like that's a video about Star Wars The Clone Wars and uh it seems to be that way, hey. So, Disney released a trailer for it a couple of hours ago. I've already seen it, tried to record a reaction video to it. Didn't really go well, so here I am again. It's going to be a lot shorter than last time, and I've actually noticed a few more things now that I can add to this video, make it more uh, concrete. So yeah, let's go. Soon, the Darth Maul. will be remade. Bo-Katan looking over Mandalore. The Jedi. Obi-Wan and Mace Windu on... Oh, what's the planet called? Uh, Droid Factory on Axis, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, all involved in the assault with the Bad Batch. This is where they're making all the new droids for the droid army. And yeah, basically they were sent to take down the factory. It turned out it was harder than they expected. So they called in the big guns, Mace Windu, Obi-Wan. And then they brought in the Bad Batch to you know, make it easier. And then they found Echo and whatnot. Anyway, that's a, that's the Bad Batch arc. We're going to be going to be seeing that. But it does look like Obi-Wan and Mace Windu are fricked. Here we see the 501st Legion, an ARC Trooper, a uh, Medic, Kicks, uh, and they're meeting Anakin. This is in the Bad Batch episode as well. Darth Maul, looking will like a legend. Die. Saying the Republic will die and he's going to kind of be like the new ruler of the Empire. Well, not the Empire, the Galaxy, should I say. He's not Empire affiliated. I sense a plot to destroy. Oh, okay, this scene, this is a good scene, right? We have Commander Bly, we have Illa Secura, Plo Koon, Mace Windu, Yoda, Kaido Moody, Commander Bakara, actually first time we're seeing him in the Clone Wars and his design looks very nice. And then we see Defa Balaba and Caleb Doom, aka Kanan Jarus. There he is, look like a Padawan, very nice callback, very epic Dave Filoni, thank you very much. Destroy the Jedi. Oh yeah, and they're also talking about a plot to kill the Jedi. Order 66. So basically what happens is we're going to have thoughts about Order 66. I'm not sure how canonical this, this fits into episode 3 because they kind of felt unaware of an attack on the Jedi. But they're like, yo, maybe uh, maybe 5s was right. Maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, five is right. Maybe uh, they they are going to uh, they are going to kill us. So yeah, there's like a little, uh, little thing like mm, maybe maybe maybe. And yes, yeah, so everyone's like doing a big thonk about it because you know, it's a big deal. And here we see Maul interrogating by the looks of things or torturing Jesse, CT5597. He's now an ARC trooper, which is pretty fucking cool. By the time of the Battle of Anaxis, he now he now looks like he's an ARC trooper. Jesse is now an ARC trooper, and here he's getting tortured by Maul for Republic intel, I'm guessing, on the Battle of Mandalore. Great care we must take. Ahsoka. Why would anyone walk away from being a Jedi? We were trained to be keepers of bo -Katan and Ahsoka making that alliance. I don't think bo -Katan is in possession of the uh, dark saber, so she's not really the leader of Mandalore, but she also kind of is the leader of Mandalore because they're the people who are the Mandalorian people are following. But obviously, in Mandalorian tradition, whoever has the dark saber is the true Mandalore. And at the at the moment, I think that is Darth Maul, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they're just making a you know Ahsoka's going to help the Mandalorians defend Mandalore against the separatists. And Ahsoka saying how she left the Order because they're supposed to be peacekeepers, but instead they turned into warriors. And then they, uh, you know, they double-crossed her. Well, not double-crossed, but kind of didn't ha didn't trust that she would not bomb the Jedi Temple. Like that was a huge blow to like their like trust to, with with each other. So she just kind of dipped. The peace. Oh yeah, and um, behind Ahsoka here, hang on. This looks to be like a shock trooper, judging by the armor, and I'm not sure what this could be. It could be sawn in carbonite. It could be some sort of some sort of gift to the Mandalorians, but whatever it is, there's a shock trooper there for some reason. That's quite interesting because they're usually there to guard the Emperor. Not soldiers. Anakin destroying some B3 battle droids, looking close to his Episode Three counterpart. I like how they're slowly. Bringing their character designs close to what they were in episode 3. Obviously season 1 they had the clone armor attachments. They've got rid of those in that, that was about season 3, season 4. And now they're beginning to look more like they do in episode 3 even more, which I like. We clones. 
Yes, okay. All right, I want to talk about who's here because I don't actually know. Cody, obviously. Rex, Jesse, I'm not sure who that is in the back. Yeah, I think it's just some, it might just be some random five of first member. If it's someone of no, it could be Apo maybe. I'm not too sure. But yeah, Jesse's looking like an ARC trooper. This might be the last mission these two do together before Order 66. Unless they're both on Mandalore, which is possible. Yep, the Bad Batch. Yeah, this is, yeah, Jesse. I think Jesse's now an ARC trooper, which is pretty cool. About the war. Oh, yep, Without Siege of Mandalore. We wouldn't exist. Jump troopers battling some ARC top Toro droids. This looks like Mandalore, you know, they've got the, uh, the jet troopers. Mandalorians, they have jetpacks. Gotta get me one of those. Yeah, this is the Utapau episode with Anakin and Obi-Wan. They go to, I, I can't remember why they go. I think like it's an assassination or something. But this is, this definitely looks like that episode because it looks like Utapau. Sounds solid to me. Mm, part of the plan. Oh, hell yeah. The plan. Yeah, maybe she's like getting attacked mentally by Maul, perhaps. Oh, Anakin's looking angry with Admiral Trench. We haven't seen him since the Battle of Ringo Vindar when Tup did the old pew-pew. So, we know he's alive now, but he's bad yet cut down by Anakin, let's be real. Everything. Oh, hell is yeah. This is Ahsoka's army of boys. This is Ahsoka's boys right here, the 501st Legion. A set little division who are under the kind of Ahsoka Tano during the Mandalore siege. Seems like Captain Rex is a part of that. I don't like the use of blue and orange on their armor, but it's to symbolize that, you know, they're under the kind of a Sokotano, so it works, really. It just works. It's about to change. Obi-Wan, my guy. Siege of Mandalore, was that? Was that a sudden spiky head, man? Yeah, we've got uh, Death Watch still thriving. That's one of um, Maul's most trusted commanders. Broke him out of prison and that. This scene confused me a bit because it looks like Death Watch are attacking some clone troopers, but it also looks like I can't tell if that's Death Watch armor or just like the Mandalorians who are protecting Mandalore. I'm not too sure. From what I see here, we've got some uh, some uh, Pikes. Was it was it the Pikes who Maul worked with in the Black Sun? So either the uh, Mandalorians protecting Mandalore find Death Watch are attacking mercenaries or um, drug cartel troops because they don't look like clone troopers they look like well, I don't know what they look like they're like what kind of different random people so maybe it's the Death Watch are getting attacked by the Mandalorians yeah we've seen this scene before loads of times uh, this scene confused me a bit I'm not sure what planet they're on I can't quite tell it might be Malastair but I'm not sure why they'd be on Malastair uh, Dathomir maybe? These are like they could be Knight Brothers. I'm not too sure. I don't know who these spear holding boys are, so I don't know, but Rex and the Bad Batch are there. So it could be on an axis somewhere, but I can't remember seeing this in the uh, unfinished episodes, so I'm not too sure. Padme is looking a bit pregnant, despite we Anakin only finding out after he'd rescued Palpatine, so I'm not sure where these episodes take place in the continuity. Nice big space battles, love them. Hell yeah. He, Anakin does not give a fuck, he's killing that tactical droid and then he's going for Admiral Trench's throat, like 100%. Great choice made. I've waited so long that we so we could see Maul versus Ahsoka and we're seeing it and it's so good. Has led to this. Oh fuck yeah. Also, if you look at Maul's lightsaber, it is a bit different. I'll take I'll give you a second. Yes, so his lightsaber do be looking kinda different. Got his lightsaber fricked and now he's got a second part to it, which is very nice. I'm just so excited to see them fight. Like after I heard that was what was happening. I'm so hyped. It looks so much fun. I can't wait. And yes, we might be seeing the Vong at the very end of this series because in the original ending of the Clone Wars, we were going to see the Vong right at the end. I believe right at the end, they were going to see like a Vong scout ship or something. And I do believe that is still happening. Um, I haven't seen anything that tells me it isn't. Although I haven't seen ten anything telling me it is. Uh, they might just change the name of the Vong. Like uh, it's still the Vong, but like they're not called the Vong. That's that's my best guess. 
but I'd really like to see them do it. And yeah, that's been my reaction to The Clone Wars. I'm going to be reviewing every episode as it comes out from February the 21st, was it? February 21st, yep. So, see you there. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.